parents from both sides disapproved of their romance. That was a hard time for Tatiana. He could even throw things at her. And Tatiana will never have children. Keep in mind, if we ever meet in the street when I am with another woman, I pretend that I don't know you. Three main women of Mikhail Bulgakov. My friend Mikhail Bulgakov was carried away by various interest points, such as writing, medicine, morphine, and uh, women, of course. The master's first spouse and first love saved him from drug addiction. The second one provided a smooth entering into the bohemian theatrical life, and the third one became his main muse, the first love, and an eternal savior, Tatiana Lapa. Tatiana Lapa, the daughter of an active state counselor, a nobleman of past generations, became the first wife and love of Bulgakov. Tatiana, a delicate 15-year-old schoolgirl, came for a vacation at her aunt's in Kiev, where she happened to meet 16-year-old Mishka Bulgakov. Love filled the young hearts. They started dating secretly, and numerous city alleys served as a perfect hiding place for their passionate kissing. But the vacation ended, and a long three-year separation took its place until Tatiana was able to graduate from her gymnasium and enter one in Kiev to be closer to Mikhail. Parents from both sides disapproved of their romance, but the lovers were persistent and eventually married. Mishka was a big spender who lived easily and carelessly. Whatever they managed to get, he spent with lightning speed. Tatiana humbly put up with all of it. She had had a difficult time with him. For example, the money that Tatiana's father sent her before their marriage was used to perform an illegal abortion that she agreed to at Bulgakov's request. That was just the beginning of all her hardship. Having studied to be a doctor, Bulgakov worked as a surgeon in the front line zone in 1916. Later, he was assigned to work as a Zemsky doctor in the Smolensk province, a doctor living and serving to one specific village. Tatiana, being his loyal wife, followed him everywhere. Bulgakov wrote a young doctor's notebook based on his personal and medical experience during this period. After performing an operation, Mikhail was afraid to get diphtheria and took an anti-diphtheria drug that caused a terrible allergy. Mikhail began morphine injections to relieve his pain and eventually got addicted. That was a hard time for Tatiana. The craving for a new dose made Mikhail aggressive and despotic. In a fit, he could even throw things at her, anything that came into his hand. During that time, Tatiana got pregnant for a second time, and again, Mikhail made her have an abortion, fearing sick children would be born because of the morphine he took. He himself conducted this operation, and Tatiana will never have children. Tatiana started diluting morphine with distilled water to save her husband from the addiction. And in the end, it worked. Mikhail experienced a creative spree and started working on the White Guard. Passionately involved in literature, Bulgakov had enough passion to start cheating on his Tatiana. Once he told her, keep in mind, if we ever meet in the street when I am with another woman, I pretend that I don't know you. Being considered single opened the doors to more literary connections. That's how he explained it. During that time, he met Lubov Belizerskia. No wonder Tatiana looked ordinary, boring, and even exhausted compared to Lubov, a gorgeous woman who lived in various countries and had lots of literary connections. The new romance destroyed Bulgakov's first marriage. Mikhail left Tatiana for the sake of his new passion for Belizerskia, and Tatiana and Mikhail divorced. <laughs>